Hello. Hello. Um, uh, how are you? Um, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, now, now you're coming to, um, with Bellator. There's any fighters in the lightweight, heavyweight division you're looking forward to seeing in the future or any mindset coming up after your win coming up? You know, it's tough to say right now. Uh, and as cliche as it sounds, I'm just looking forward to the fight forward at hand. So uh, right now, if I had to answer you, it would just be Julius Anglicas. Uh, pressing forward, it's it's just the kind of the next guy. I, I, I'm going to be disappointing to a, a lot of folks who follow MMA, but you guys probably know a lot more of the names than I do. I just show up and punch who they want me to punch. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We'll go to Donna. Hey, Alex. How's it going? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm not too bad. Uh, obviously, you're coming off the back of a win. You know, it's a quick turnaround for you within a couple of months against Rafael Carvalho, a, a big name. Where does a win on Thursday night put you in terms of, of the division? In terms of the division? Uh, again, you guys are asking questions <laughs> that are a little bit above my pay grade. I, I show up, I, I fight in a cage, I try to hurt people as best as I can. Uh, I'm hoping that a, a, a win uh, on Thursday uh, lands me in a, a position to fight somebody else for some more money. And uh, with Bellator being happy to see me back, uh, maybe if we can uh, if we can get our stuff together, maybe it won't have to be at the Mohegan Sun with all the COVID restrictions. Maybe we can get some fans in the audience. But really, I mean, that's hopeful. you're not the you're not the <laughs> biggest fan of the COVID restrictions, no. <laughs> well. Yeah, I, as far as the COVID restrictions go, I mean, I, I haven't experienced anything else with Bellator. They're they're handling it really smooth from what I've seen, but uh, it, it'd be nice to get the fans back in, uh, get the fans back in for the live events again. I'm hoping that it'll come eh, sooner than later, but we'll we'll have to see where the year takes us. You mentioned uh, wanting, you know, to get back in there uh, quickly and another big fight uh, that's happening. I mean, it's a big night in your division, right? The, the main event uh, where you maybe after you're done, after you get the W, maybe sort of head back and have one eye on, on whoever wins that one. Well, they've, uh, they've made it clear that I won't be able to watch it live, but maybe uh, if, it, if I can, if I can get back and get cleaned up in my room enough, I'll be able to catch it on. I'll be able to catch it on uh, TV. <laughs> Are you, are you interested in fighting either of those guys? I'm always interested in fighting, whether it's, uh, whether it's uh, one of the winners for contention series or later on down the road. If, if they're in light heavyweight, I probably want to fight them. All right, Steve. Alex, are you a little surprised that after getting a win over a former champion like Rafael Cavallo that they didn't put you on the main card? Um, you know, I, I've had some people that have told me about the kind of magnitude of that and that, you know, why he's still on the undercard. But, I mean, this is still just my second fight in Bellator. I know that you have to kind of earn your way up um, and to, to go from, you know, a prelim – uh, single fight to the next fight just being uh on the upper card it, it, it would be it'd be great but at the same time i realized that uh you know it's it, it's a process and i'm willing to keep punching people until i make my way up there all right best of luck thursday all right ben uh, alex um, so in your last uh, fight when you went over Carvalho, you went the uh, distance for the first time in your career. So were you um, glad to have gone that uh, full 15 minutes and got that experience in, or were you a little bit frustrated not to have had yet another finish to your resume? Hmm. I I think that as boring answer as it could be a, a little bit of both. You know, as fighters, we're always looking for the we're always looking for the the knockout, the big exciting finish because it just it, it looks good on a record and. Um, I mean, that's the goal, you know, trying to put, put the other fighter down, uh, 
in the most dominating way fashionable. It, in po sorry, the most dominating way possible. But um, I think it, it might be a good thing to, to have drawn that full amount of time, that distance, as you say, because, you know, l l as you mentioned, it's just the experience of getting that full three rounds in and knowing that I, I can press it there and I can, uh, I can impress upon the judges that I, I won the fight, even though there wasn't a knockout or a, or a tap out or a submission or anything like that. And uh, just one more from me. Uh, can we expect to see any more temporary tattoos on fight night? <laughs> the temporary tattoos are, are going to keep coming as long as, as long as I can uh, keep not having permanent ones, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Alex. Appreciate it. We'll be joined shortly by Janae Harding.